welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chelsea and in today's video we're going to do a little review of the P. Louise Crisp Finish Paint. Picked up three from the collection because I think there's about five or six shades in the new range. I think it's Edition Dirt collection. So yeah, I picked up the Sexy Chili, Smoking Hot and Tangy Tea. So I'm going to try and create a look with all three paints. If you want to see what look I'll create and my initial thoughts on the products, then please stay tuned. Right, so I thought there's no point me doing my makeup yet as we can walk through it together because I wanted to show you first of all the packets before I then rip it open and obviously then you're in the packaging. So if you saw it in my haul video, if you haven't then I'll link that down below. I did feature these, um, obviously I didn't open them but I just showed you what I bought and I said that each shade came in its own box which I thought was a little bit waste of packaging but you know we moved. So these crisp finish paints, they're the same formula as the acid rain paints which she done in Calais collaboration with Mama Mitchell. I have got a few of those so if you do want to see a full P. Louise collection because I have quite a few of her bases and paints and palettes and things like that then please let me know down below and I'll definitely get a video up of that for you and then I can also talk to you and show you how I use some of her products. I thought I would pick up three of the shades that appeal to me most. So we've got the smoking Hot which is the brown shade, a Sexy Chili which is like a teal shade and Tangy Tees which is um, like a peachy shade. Yes, these retail for £18 which is a little bit more than her paints sold separately mainly because they feature a brush. So the brush that I think is included is this brush. So this brush is what I got from the Acid Rain collection so as you can see it's very thin and like an oval shape good for cutting the crease. So I believe they're the brushes that you get so I've obviously got three brushes I've seen a lot of people complain about that though because they want to buy the paint separately so I don't know when they go into morph stores if they're going to be sold separately or if you do have to buy the pack but I think the paints by themselves were about £15 anyway so you're paying an extra £3 for a good quality brush which I don't mind but just want to show you some of the packaging so as you can see, it's very, very detailed. You've got here like what you'd have on a crisp packet. Um, and then on the back, you then got some more information, some of her quotes. Obviously, she's a very positive individual. Ooh, baby, you're looking like a snack. Are you a cut creaser or a buffer? Do you like to layer it on or do you like a little at a time? Do you like to smooth over those edges or keep them nice and crisp? And then it's quite a nice little feature and you've actually got the ingredients of the paints there, like what you would have on a crisp packet. I actually don't want to open these because I don't want to ruin them because I am a sucker for packaging. Like pretty packaging, I'm sold. Premium quality, heavily finished, cut crease brush included. So yeah, I'm looking forward to playing around with these. I don't really know what I'm going to do with them though because I want to make sure I've got all three of them on these eyeballs today just so that you can actually see colour and what they actually look like on the eye because I've been looking on YouTube and there's not really many reviews of the paint so hopefully if you're looking for a review of a paint you find this video. So I've done my eyebrows already and I've just carved them out very lightly with a bit of P. Louise base because with these paints they work better on just bare skin rather than laying it on top of a product because that can cause cracking. I feel like all I've done is talk. So I think I'm going to start off with the smoking Hot. So this is the brown shade. So sad. Oh I've just got a whiff of like nail varnish. So out pops. There's the brush. Like I said, it's exactly the same as the other one that I just showed you, except from it has an ombre end, I suppose, which matches the shade that you picked up. Here are the three paints, and you get quite a lot of product in these, to be fair. So they're all sealed, so then you know that they're all fresh. Yeah, I've got blank canvas, which is what I use quite a lot, and I've barely scratched the surface, to be fair. So all you do is just push it up. And then I just literally scrape a little bit onto the back of my hand because like it says on the packet, you do only need a little bit. It's smoking hot. There's tangy tea. And there's sexy chili. And then the three brushes, they all say the same thing and the same number, but they've all got ombre finish, just like the paints, which I think is a quite a nice touch as well. Right, so I'm just gonna start off with smoking hot, the brown one, and I'm gonna zoom you in a bit. 
Okay, so I'm actually going to take this on a fluffy brush because I'm going to do something that my Mitchell always does and I'm just going to map out my shape. Just taking this on a flat brush like that and I'm just going to put a bit of this onto the back of my hand. And then it warms it up a bit as well. So I'm literally just taking that much. So if you don't know about these paints, these dry down in 60 seconds. You don't need to set them because they are self-setting. And the coverage of them is so good. And then I'm just taking a peach thin cream E22 brush and I'm just going to blend out the edges of it. See that? How quickly did that blend out? That blended so quickly. So trust the process. However, I've not actually done a look like this before, so we will soon see. Now I'm just going to pop a bit of Pengy Tees, the peachy one, just a wincy bit on the back of my hand. Now, with a clean brush, I'm just going to pinch the edges a bit. And I'm just going to dab both sides and coat the brush. Because what I'm going to do is then just roughly cut my crease. So this will be my lid shade. I'm just tapping the excess out, it's just gonna blend into the smoking hot one. Yeah, so I think they do look really nice. Although I think I'm gonna have to add a bit of eyeshadow. I don't think like this tangy tees. I don't think it's as opaque. Is that the word that I'm looking for? So I think I'm gonna have to leave. I think I'm gonna have to put something over the top of it because right on the crease. That looks fine, that's got a lot of pigment. But then here, it's sheared out a bit more. But if I layer it up, it's just not, it's not completely set in. As you can see here, it's obviously transferred a little bit here. And obviously, so yeah, I think I'm gonna have to set it with something. Ta-da! So I've finished the rest of the eyes. Um, I'm thinking that these lashes may be a bit too big for this look, but I'm not too sure. But this is, what the eyes look like. I just added a bit of darker brown shadow from the um, ABH Soft Glam palette, a shade from the Me, Myself and Mitchell palette just to blend it all out. And I added a little bit of orange in the center so that it's more of a gradient. And then I used like a dark brown eyeshadow liner while well, I did an eye eyeshadow liner um, just ready for my lashes. So I'm not that great at explaining, but yeah, I'm quite happy with how this has turned out so far. So I've got my TL Mitchells on, I've done the rest of my face. The only thing I need to do is lips, which I'll do off camera because obviously, actually, I'm going to use these as my lips. But I also want to add Sexy Chili along the lower lash line, just add a bit of pop of colour, um, and then we've used all three paints in one video. I'm just going to, not going to take any on the back of my hand because it seemed like, feels like I use too much. So I'm just gonna take a tiny wincy pencil brush. This is a Peach and Cream PC32, and I'm just gonna dabble in there a bit. Let me zoom you in a bit more. There we go. So I'm just gonna run this along my lower lash line, basically. But I'm not taking it right on my waterline as I want to put something else there. I'm just taking a bigger brush just to blend it out a bit more. And then I think I want to put tangy tees in my waterline. I don't know how this, that's going to look, but we'll soon find out. So let me just take a liner brush. So I'm just going to take the P. Louise liner brush from the acid drain collection and again i'm just going to dip it in dip it in like so and then just run that along my these are so soft and creamy you know okay like that yep okay i like it I'm just going to go back in with that fluffier brush i'm just gonna i'm just gonna take a bit of the soft glam palette and i'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm just going to run orange soda just along the bottom. Right. I'm also going to take another pencil brush. And I'm just going to go in with the black. Just for this little outer edge here. I'm just going to pop a bit of my Bossy Glossy um, lip balm on. 
because I wanted to see if I could use paints as lipstick. So, try smoking hot because. Gonna rely on. Okay, then I'm also gonna go into tangy tees and put that in the center so it's a bit like ombre. I'm just gonna use the same brush. Oh. That is light. <laughs> okay, well, I don't like this colour on me. It might suit other people, but it does not suit me. But it just goes to show that you can actually wear them on your lips as lipstick. They feel very comfortable, very lightweight. Just use a small amount and then just build it up that way. But this would actually make a really good lipstick. I wish they came out with a different shade. Right. So this is the finished look. Can you zoom you back out? There we are. So what do you all think of the finished look? Let me know down below. I can't believe I actually used minimal eyeshadow to create this. I'm actually really impressed. I already knew her paints were good, but to be honest, I don't really reach for them as much as I should. I always use blank canvas, but that's just to cut the crease, so that's inevitable. But I haven't really used much of the coloured sort of paints, and I love the fact that these three are more wearable shades, especially like these two, that you can wear like on a date, well not on a day to day, but if I was going out like to a bar or something like that then I'm more likely to use this one rather than a hot pink or a bright purple or the other shades that she had in collaboration with the Mitchell and the Acid Rain collection so yeah absolutely adore these the Tangy Tees one I thought I'd have to set it a bit more and I did set it a little bit in the middle but towards the actual edge of the cut crease you can really see the pigment through that and obviously the pigment was really good on the Sexy Chili as well as the Smoke and Hot like they all blended out an absolute dream I didn't actually need to use much movement or technique with my brush because yeah they're just so soft and creamy but yet they still hold pigment they don't completely blend away um so yeah I'm actually really impressed with these. I think they are worth your money and I do want to pick up the other colours. If you did want me to do a P. Louise collection video then do let me know down below in the comments and I'll definitely do that for you as well as as any other video suggestions that you may have and also let me know if you have these paints what are your thoughts on them what's your favorite shade that is the end of this video a short and sweet one i hope and also did you notice that i actually dyed my hair finally it took me bloody long enough didn't it but i actually really like how it turned out if you want to see me um if you want me to record a video on how I actually do my own hair, then let me know and yeah, I'll do that one day for you. It will be a long video though because it's a few steps for me to die. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please hit the subscribe button and join our little family. Well, you know, the family is going to continue growing because I'm going to manifest that this will be my full-time job one day so I can create good content for you guys. Yeah, we upload on Wednesdays and Sundays, so keep an eye out for that. I've also linked down below my social media link, so please come and say hello to me on Instagram or on Twitter. I hope you enjoyed this video and I shall see you in the next one.